guys. So uh, if you have noticed on Twitter or IG, um, I am posting a video in response to the Makeup Revolution fiasco today. Um, I'm not... I'm, I'm not nervous about it. I'm just sad about the whole situation that I even had to sit down and speak on it at all. I mean, it was a palette review, like at the end of the day, like it's not even that dramatic. What's dramatic is how things turned and got so vicious and vile and ugly. And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about what I think happened to get all of that to happen happen and what my experience was and what tipped the scale um, to kind of blow this thing up. And as much as I know a lot of you are going to be like, hey, I wish you weren't giving this any energy or attention. That's always been me. Like I've always been that person to be strong and silent and walk away and just not, not. I can't do that this time. Like this time was different. This time I just, I felt like I needed to have a chat with you guys and and just talk about just everything because this got out of hand in such a weird way. Like it was bizarre to me that people were picking on fertility issues, my marriage, people were body shaming me. I mean, like, honestly, it got so ugly. And I'm like, over what? So it's as much as I've still been filming and been like trying to focus on the good, like I needed to sit down and talk to you guys because this was not okay. And I'm not going to deal with this again. I'm just going to, you know, block people if you're that ugly to me. Um, I, I just needed to stick up for myself. And I hope you guys understand that. And if you don't and you're disappointed that I'm making this video, then I can respect that. But I would ask that you just not watch. And um, if you know you're not going to like this, if you know you're already disappointed, then don't even watch it. And that's okay. Um, this is just for me to move forward and move on because it has sucked sitting down and filming and feeling really insecure. And I don't like feeling that way and feeling like every choice is going to be questioned and challenged shit um so yeah i just i needed to do this for me to just kind of stick up for myself and gain some strength back and feel understood and i want to you know post this move forward and you know kind of get back to just being really positive um this did affect me in a really weird way and you never know what someone's struggles are behind the scenes like you can say something that you think shouldn't be a big deal but you guys don't know my entire world and stuff that I go through personally with health issues and I mean like god should I just hop on and talk about fertility issues because I don't know why that one messed me up the most, but shit, I'm crying on Snapchat and someone's going to download this and put this in a video. It just got really messed up. So here's the thing that I want to say to you guys, like, don't go and hate on people more. Like, just stop. Like, just stop. I needed to be understood. I need to stick up for myself, but please don't in my name go and be mean to people. Fuck, I look crazy right now. Okay, I'm going to go. I love you guys so much. I love what I do on YouTube. Why am I crying? Um, I love makeup. <laughs> I love makeup. And I'm so sorry if you're exhausted from this whole thing. Trust me, I am too. So, okay, it's literally one minute away from the video going live. I'm going to go check in on it. I love you guys. I'm moving forward. I'm going to be more positive about this and just kind of just let it all, let it all go. But, um, yeah, I love you guys.